This is a research center. We usually do work on neurodegenerative diseases and childhood disorders of the brain. But lately, we've been involved in the Cuban response to COVID. Cuba traditionally has imported its own ventilators. But when the COVID pandemic started, Trump had just tightened up even more the embargo. And that was making things very difficult for us to buy ventilators. We had the need to prepare for the epidemic urgently. So we decided to manufacture it locally. Now, in the recent upsurge of cases, there's been an increased demand of ventilators and we've been able to give the hospitals the ventilators they need. They've gone to the provinces that have problems like Matanzas. We've developed two versions of the ventilators. This ventilator is based on an open source design that was placed on the internet by the uh, MIT. We should deliver to the health system up to 250 by the end of August. This is a non-invasive ventilator based on a design by University College London and we adapted it to components we had. This will free up more sophisticated ventilators to use for use in the most severe cases. We're manufacturing 250 of these, so it's 500 ventilators we'll be supplying the health system. Esto va directo hacia Guantánamo, que ahora es otra de las provincias del país que está también con un pico pandémico. Yo nací en esta época de, de bloqueo y siempre el cubano se ha tratado de con los recursos que hay, que existen, dar solución. Realmente no, no, no me imaginé que iba a estar produciendo este tipo de tecnología porque realmente no era el objeto de la empresa. Este último año hemos tenido que reinventarnos. 